Psalm 89 says, I will sing of the Lord's great love forever. With my mouth, I will make your faithfulness known to all generations. I will declare that your love stands firm forever, that you establish your faithfulness in heaven itself. We are gathered here to praise God for the covenant of grace and reconciliation made with us through our Lord Jesus Christ, to hear it proclaimed anew, and to respond to it as we witness this covenant of marriage that Julie Mueller and Jeffrey Jim make with each other in the name of Jesus Christ. Christian marriage is a joyful covenant between a man and a woman in which they proclaim before God and human witness their commitment to live together in spiritual, physical, and material unity. It is in this covenant that they acknowledge the great love that God has shown each of them, and it is that love that enables them to love each other. They affirm that God's gracious presence, His abiding power, are needed for them to keep their vows, to continue to live in love, and to be faithful servants of Jesus Christ in this world. For human commitment is fragile, human love is imperfect, but God's promises are eternal, and it is His love that can make our love perfect. Please pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day, this time when we are surrounded with the love of family and friends, and most of all, we sense your presence and we feel your love. We pray, Lord, that as we hear your word proclaimed, help us to understand it, help us to take its truths and bring it into our own hearts and lives. And we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I would like to share a reading. This is actually um, one of Paul's letters. And he says, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, lowliness, meekness and patience, forbearing one another as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive each other. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in the one body, and be thankful, and let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, as you teach and admonish one another in all wisdom and as you sing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God, and whatever you do in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And may God bless the reading of this is holy and inspired word to our hearts and to our lives. Amen. Well, I just want to share just a few thoughts with you. Um, and it may be crazy for me to think you're going to remember anything I have to say right now, but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. I want to just begin just sharing a little story. Um, it was a wedding rehearsal, and the uh, groom came over to the uh, pastor, and he said to him, you know, I have to be honest with you, I do not like those vows. 
especially the part where you say to love and honor and forsaking all others. I do not like that. I would rather you take that out of the vows. And he discreetly slipped this pastor a hundred dollar bill. Well, the next day it came time for his vows and this pastor said, looked him right in the eyes and he said, do you promise to prostrate yourself before her every day, serve her breakfast in bed every morning and never look at another woman for as long as you shall live? Well, he gulped and weakly said yes, and then he hissed under his breath, I thought we had a deal. And this pastor said, she made me a much better author. <laughs> well, the point is, of course, and I think we know this, that Christian marriage is not about how much we can get away with. It's two people wholeheartedly committing themselves to love, yes, an imperfect person for life. And I know that you desire to do that. In fact, you shared with me the love that you have for each other, how you felt it was indeed love at first sight. Um, it was a sense you found your, your soulmate, your best friend, this person that you wanted to live your life out for. And that is a great blessing and a great joy. And here you are in this beautiful setting, a beautiful summer day with so many family and friends that love you so much and wish you all of God's blessings. And you are indeed a very attractive couple, aren't they? I mean, incredible. An attractive couple, beautifully dressed in your wedding clothing. But what I want to talk about, just very briefly, is not wedding clothing, but marriage clothing. We just heard that in the scripture that we heard read. Um, Paul talks about these garments, these clothing, that we should put on each and every day. And I just want to touch on them just for a moment. The very first one is compassion. And that is suitable for every day, especially in those weak and vulnerable moments. Then there's kindness. Kindness is a soft and gentle garment, and it complements whoever wears it. Then there's humility. That, that one can be a little scratchy, a little uncomfortable, mm -hmm. but it, it protects us from arrogance and self-centeredness. Mm -hmm. Then there's meekness. That is worn close to the skin. That will prevent a judgmental attitude. Then there's patience. That is a long-wearing garment that helps us weather out the storms of life. And then there is love. And love is the most becoming garment of all. It is strong, yet light. It is perfect in work and play. And it becomes lovelier every time we put it on. Mary Martin, the great actress of the stage, was once asked what motivated her in regard to her acting ability. And she talked about the love she had for all the people that came to see her. And then she added this. She shared a poem. And the poem went, and I'm sure you've heard it before, a bell is not a bell unless you ring it. A song is not a song unless you sing it. And love is in love in your heart to stay. For love is in love unless you give it away. You know, it's a funny thing about love. When you try to hold on to it, it withers and it dies. But when you share it, it only multiplies. It only grows. It only blesses. It only strengthens. So certainly our prayer for you is that you will take out these garments every single day and put them on, and most of all, put on that garment of love. I also want to encourage you to build your lives, build your marriage upon the firmest of foundation. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. He gives us strength. He gives us hope and guidance. Um, it may sound very simplistic, but it is a true statement. The family that that prays together, does stay together. So just encourage you, build your life, build your marriage upon that foundation. And finally, this is something I share with every couple that I've married, don't forget to have fun. You know, I think that's the thing that um, just brings so much joy and sweetness is the joy of being married. Marriage is meant to be a blast. And many years ago, dear Abby shared this letter and I would like to share it with you. It says, Dear Abby, we have neighbors who have kids in high school and college, but the parents act like a couple of teenagers. <laughs> when he comes home from work, she runs out to the street and he carries her in piggyback. 
if he's up on the roof, she's up there with him under the car. There she is. And when they sit in church, they hold hands the entire service and they sing out of the same hymn book. Just drives me crazy. Tell me, Abby, what do you think about people like this? Sign nauseous in St. Pete. Dear nauseous, I think your neighbors know the secret of real happiness. May God bless them. So our prayer, and I think I speak for everybody here today, our prayer for you is a life filled with joy, with health, with happiness, and overflowing with love. May God bless you and keep you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We pray that you will write it upon our hearts and lives and that it will bear much fruit to your honor and glory. And we pray this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Jeffrey, will you receive Julie as your wife and bind yourself to her in the covenant of marriage? Do you promise to love and honor her in true devotion, to rejoice with her in times of happiness and grieve with her in times of sorrow and be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? If so, please respond, I will with the help of God. I will with the help of God. Julie, will you receive Jeffrey as your husband? and bind yourself to him in the covenant of marriage. Will you promise to love and honor him in true devotion, to rejoice with him in times of happiness and grieve with him in times of sorrow, and be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? If so, please respond, I will, with the help of God. I will, with the help of God. If I could ask everyone to please rise. You're making some promises too. You're not off the hook either. <laughs> Will you who witness this covenant of marriage respect this marriage with your love, with your friendship, and with your care? If so, please respond, we do. We do. We do. Thank you so much. You may be seated, and I think they mean it. They're gonna they're gonna carry out those promises to you. <laughs> Julie and Jeffrey, before God and these witnesses, make your covenant of marriage with each other. You can pass the flowers and Thank you very much. Please repeat after me. I, Jeffrey, I, Jeffrey, take you, Julie, take you, Julie, to be my wife, to, be my wife. to have and to hold, and to hold. From, this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for, better, for, worse. for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish as long as we both shall live. To this I pledge myself, truly with all my heart. This ring I give, in token of the covenant, made this day between us, I pledge, myself, yes, I pledge myself truly with all my heart. This ring I give in token of a covenant made this day between us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us now ask for God's blessings. Eternal God in whom we live and move and have our being, bless Julie and Jeffrey that they may live together in marriage according to the vows they have made before you. Bless them with your love that their love for each other may grow ever deeper 
and, their, and that their love for you may shine forth before the world. Bless them with your mercy that they may be patient and caring, willing to share each other's joys and sorrows, to forgive and to be forgiven in their life together and in the world. Bless them with your peace that they may be calm and sure, trusting in you with confident hearts and living in harmony and concord within their family and among all people and bless them with your presence that within their hearts and their home Christ Jesus may reign as head and that they may acknowledge his lordship with praise and with thanksgiving now and through all their life together to the glory of your holy name amen Julie and Jeffrey have made their covenant of marriage before God and all here present by solemn vows, by the joining of hands, and by the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, I declare that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Be united, live in peace, and the God of peace and love will be with you. My dear friends, they are no longer two, therefore, but one body, so then what God has united, no one may divide. Amen. And it is now with joy and thanksgiving to God, I present to you, for the very first time, <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Jeffrey and Julie, Jim, and Jeffrey, you may kiss your beautiful bride. You know, I charged by the hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is double camera pay. No, you I charge by the hour. Are you doing it on YouTube? Yeah, you're right. You got to take advantage when I can. Yeah. No problem. Yeah. You got a purse. <laughs> That's <laughs> very With your smile so warm And your cheeks so soft There is nothing for me Okay. 
Obviously, uh, Joanne and I love Jeffrey. He's our baby. Uh, he's my buddy. He's my handyman. He does stuff for me. I do stuff for him. It's a kind of give and take. Uh, Joanne and I met Julie uh, some months ago and got to know her well. And you know what? We both love Julie. Too. <laughs> And, of course, I think I love everybody today. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say, of course, we wish them all the best and uh, we're there to help and uh, marriage is a give and take. Uh, I've been married a few years. Uh, had the 58th the other day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the hand. There she is. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to say a couple of words about uh, the, the kilty and the uh, the outfit that Jeff has on. Uh, when I married Joanne, she had a great last name. My name, Jim, just Joanne MacArthur, General mm -hmm. MacArthur, of Scottish descent. So Jeff has some Scottish blood. Uh, John. Where is he? he has some Scott. They're the tall guys. The little guys are me and Karen. We're the, we're the Greek national. Just little Greeks. So that, a little bit of history of the whys and wherefores of what Chuck has on. Uh, and uh, gee, I'm glad to see everybody here. Uh, all, a lot of friends and uh, compatriots. Or, um, Republican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've only been a Republican committee man for 35 years. So still working on it. Uh, I, I really think that's all I have to say. Wish you the best, and I, I'm uh, voting for you. Uh, no, whatever. <laughs> okay. I want to thank because without them this wouldn't have happened. Eileen and Don are gracious. Yeah. Thank you very, very much for all you've done. And those of you who have also helped and done a lot, yes. we do appreciate it. The Dion's. Thank yes. you. Um, I think I also want to thank my mom and dad for giving me the values that I have over the years and brought me to this point. And I also want to thank someone who's not here. Uh, without him, I wouldn't have met Julie. But he can't be with us. Uh, John Long. Without his insistence on me going on the trip to China, the second trip, which I didn't want to go on, by the way, uh, I would never have met Julie. So that's quite a blessing. Anyway. Cheers, John. Cheers, John. Uh, I also want to thank Donna Rhodes. Donna for listening to me and encouraging me to express what you knew was in my heart for Julie. Thank you. Um, and I want to thank everybody else. Of course my family. They mean a lot to me. All you friends mean a lot to me. Everybody does. And I want to say one thing about my grandfather. He always used to say to me when I was a little kid, we'd sit down at the table to have dinner. He said, Jeff, raise your glass. Everybody raise your glass. 
Here's looking up your guilty. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. One day trips the horse. Oh, in the little Just remember that, whatever you want to do. There you go. Perfect. Don't do it. I think you do at the same time. I think you need a second yeah. <laughs> yeah, really? Really? Yes. I'm glad you did that. We want to see some aggression. Sweet, sweet. You can smash in your daughter's face. Yeah. 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 That's one thing I'm going to say goodbye. Oh, you have to cut your little grandkids. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Isn't that so cute? That is so cute. Is that like ribbon? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. I have heard of that. I've never saw it. Do you remember <laughs> that, totally that movie, right? Steel Magnolias? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. No, when they made the movie, like, that was the first time I ever heard of it. I, I, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I had never heard of it. Yeah. It's chocolate. You could be a little aggressive here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was the good. <laughs> oh, they're so oh. nice. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> Got your mustache. <laughs> 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 <laughs>